back to another video with me, Countrywood Girl, and today we are going to be starting to make a garden bench just like this design. We're going to be making it out of Iroko because Iroko is perfect for outdoor use. Um, we'll probably end up putting a slight stain on it because it's not the nicest colour of timbers, but we can sort that at the end process. Um, if you haven't already checked out who I am, go onto my channel, look at my other videos, and give them a watch. And I really hope you stick around to watch this video and learn something new. So without ado, let's make it! So this is our big lump of Iroko. We'll actually need a few boards of these just because we're making two. But if you're making one, this would be enough to get your um, arms and legs out of. So we've got our templates, which I highly recommend making before you start something like this, because obviously you can try the size of it and um, you can kind of get an idea of what the finished product would kind of be like. And also another good reason is you can lay it onto your timber, draw around it and make the most of your timber, um, making less uh, waste. And so we've got two arms here. The arms are only going to be 34 millimeters thick, so we can actually deep saw them and we'll end up with four. Obviously that's because I'm making two benches, remember? And then we've got our back legs here, front legs here and under rails here. So we're going to cut these off on the cross cut and then we're probably going to go onto the bandsaw and rip them down into their single shapes. So stick around for this.
frame together. That's the main bit of the build done. That's all the jointing kind of done. We have got the arms still to get out and they'll just be jointed through this, but that's easier because that's just done with a router from now on. Um, but that's the main thing. And next what we've got to do is we've got to get all the, the planks out that go on here and then your arms will come across. There'll be one here and one on the back. The top one will be nice and curved. And so I hope you stick around and watch the video and you are enjoying it first. Firstly, let me just tell you what's going on. So there is a tenon on each one of these. This middle rail here, this has got a double tenon on the front and on the back. That makes it really, really tight and strong if you put a double one in rather than just one big bulky one. Think about it, you've got another bit of wood so it, it stops all the flexing when people are jumping up and down on it. And then the back one's also got a double one and then the front one's just got one really big one just because this rail is slightly thinner so you couldn't quite get a double one in but that means it's still really strong because it's got these that have the doubles in. This one's got the single one. Put a nice curve on the front here that just gives it a little bit of finesse. And then we've got the arm still scale which will be nice and shaped and I'll show you how to do that and then just the planks to get out and then that is actually the bench done. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to pause the video and tell you about a product that I um, support. And this isn't a sponsored video, they don't sponsor me. But um, this here is called Shadow Foam. Now I have done videos on this in the past and I will put a link up here to one of them. And this stuff is amazing. And you can actually buy this stuff from Shadow Foam itself and use my code, my 10% off code, and you will get that 10% off, so it is a really good deal. And let me just show you the tool cabinets that I've actually done so far with this stuff. There's still more to do, but let me show you. So as you can see, it just looks so good. It makes your tool cabinet from a standard tool cabinet to a really fancy one. Now there is two things missing out here, so that's really good because I can see, oh, someone's borrowed two of my um, shifters and not actually brought them back so I can chase them up and find out where they are. But as you can see, all the spanners are in nicely, screwdrivers are in nicely, tape measure, just all sorts really. You can put whatever you want in it and it is so easy to do. Shadow Foam are also really big on YouTube and they have a really good Instagram account where they share reels a lot of times and show you how easy it is actually to use this stuff. So if you have a tool cabinet and are sick of things lying around and rolling around in the drawers, grab yourself some of this and get your tools cut into it because it's super easy to do and it makes it look professional. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
as you can see, that's the outdoor garden benches complete. I think they look really cool. And the most important thing is, is that they're really, really comfy. If you're going to do a project like this, you've got to make sure they're going to be comfy. Um, so actually, before I made these, I made up a little mock test so I could try it and see if it would be comfy, and it was. So they're super comfy, super durable for outside. The last thing to do is just take some final photos, and I'll put them at the end of this video so you can see. Um, if you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and check out my other videos, and I'll see you next time everyone. Thanks for watching, bye!